<clears throat> hey guys, this is Eric, back again with another video for you guys. As you might notice, the background is a bit different, and that is because for the first time we're in my bedroom. Previously we've been in my living room, as I've been reworking and repainting the walls in here and moving stuff around, so I didn't really feel like a suitable habit for making these vlogs. But yay, finally back to my room, I guess. So the subject for the video today was things that you do that gets you into trouble. Now, just like any regular person, you know, I have a list of things about me that I would call shortcomings. I do things on a regular basis that maybe necessarily isn't the best choice. Uh, but thinking which one of these gets me into most trouble was kind of difficult. I know I like to think of myself as a lonesome desperado wandering the pe prairies looking for trouble at every corner. Uh, the truth of the matter is... I don't get into trouble all that much. I usually, you know, stay on the good side of both the law and my friends. And whenever I do get into trouble, it's mostly because I was just stupid or just not all there in the head department. But, you know, I wouldn't ex exactly call those shortcomings, you know, I guess that's that'd be cheating because everyone's stupid. Uh, that's a bit harsh. There's two things that I can come up with that are the ones that get me into the most sort of not fun situations, you know, the kinds you don't really want to find yourself in. And these are things that I'm actively, you know, trying to sort of pluck from my very being, throw into a rag sack and just burn away in the fire of what once was. Now the first one of these would be my serious issues prioritizing. I I'm not even joking, it's not even fun. I have serious issues prioritizing and it leads to such annoying and awkward situations where I prioritize something really stupid like say go climbing a tree ahead of something or someone that really mattered to me. It, you know, it's the one thing. I, I usually try to stay friends with everyone but at times I just, yeah. That, however, segues really well, actually, really nicely into the second thing that gets me into the most deep, uh, shite, uh, situations. That would be that I constantly, constantly put things off. Hello, my name is Erik, and uh, I am a so-called procrastinator. Yep, I'm one of you guys. I avoid doing things, uh, that I should be doing. And when I, I eventually do them, I'm usually too late. It really gets me into the most trouble. I mean, at least the most situations that I don't want to find myself in. And it's that I'm too late. I try to do something. I actively work. I just go out there and try it out after persp postponing it for so long. And I find out I'm too late. The opportunity is over, the window's been closed, all of that. And it really sucks, you know? It really sucks. Now, I'm not gonna make a video of uh, hilarious things I've done instead of doing the homework back when I was still in school, which was mostly just browsing the internet and playing video games. And I'm not gonna tell you how to stop procrastinating if that's your problem and that's because every good youtuber and their genetically modified chinchilla has already done that so i'm guessing another one of those videos wouldn't be very interesting seeing as i don't have anything better to say about it than charlie's cool like and dance not on fire has already said still however uh the subject of the video today was things that we do that get us into trouble and those two things the fact that i'm really awful at prioritizing at times and the fact that i'm a procrastinator Procrastinate. Is that really? Sounds dirty. Is that really the word? And I mean, I said I wouldn't do this, but just to give you an example of how bad the situation is, I mean, there there have been times where my very well being has been at stake, and I still postponed actually going to get my self looked at, even though there was no reason to. I mean, I could have been. Well, things could have been bad. And I wouldn't have known because I was just finding excuses, because that's what I do. I find excuses to not do it. So even though it's already been done a thousand times, I uh, guess by the end of this video I should tell you that if there's something you need to do right now, if there's someone you should talk to, if there's some schoolwork you need to get done, if there's something you have to do, 
to improve your current situation just try to try to try to close YouTube try to get it done unless unless YouTube is part of it I don't see how that would be the case but if that is the case then stay on YouTube but still try try to focus just for a short while on what it is you're doing I, I know I know that would help me right now and it probably would help you as well um, I'm uh, guessing that's all I gotta say for this time uh, so uh, see you guys next next uh, well it wouldn't be next Friday I'll see you the Friday after that I guess uh, and uh, don't forget to be awesome